I always love coming to Worcester. Uh, it, it always feels like home. Uh, and I wanted to really see what was going on, on in downtown Worcester, uh, because as, as we've been debating uh, additional relief packages in Washington, uh, I wanted to see how it's translating on the ground and how some of the shop owners in particular uh, have been affected by COVID. And, you know, one thing about Worcester is it, it, we're a very resilient community. Uh, and, and one that can always find a way to move forward, but, but it's still difficult. Uh, it's still very difficult. And so uh, that, that message came through loud and clear from, from the shop owners. Uh, and you could just see it. You could see that the traffic was down. Uh, there weren't as many people in the stores. Um, and so you, you just got to make sure that uh, as a community, we're supporting our, our local community, but, um, but also in Washington, it's good to see, or it's important to see, I should say, um, where our work is, is still needed. So one of the things that COVID-19 shined a bright light on is how broken and, and not resilient our supply chain was. And that was true in the medical field for sure, but it was also true uh, on our beef uh, and, and agriculture products generally. Uh, and so uh, there is an effort underway, bipartisan effort, uh, to support in particular our smaller local processors uh, as some of the big processors were taken offline due to the virus. Uh, it, it really uh, seized up the market in, in a lot of different ways, and, and that puts pressure down all, all the way down to the local farm level. Honeytown Meats is, is an awesome story, a great family farm uh, who, through, through COVID, has, has 